let's talk about a couple of things then. So this is uh, my channel, uh, Duke Tobro. Um, I do streams here. Uh, what I aim for is to do streams two times a week from uh, 10 o'clock in the evening. That'll be on Tuesdays and Fridays, UK time. Um, so I stream mainly Pokemon content. Um, been focusing on Pokemon VGC, uh, Video Game Championships. Um, working on Series 10, which goes from this month, August, all the way up to the end of October, I believe. And yeah, basically playing Battle Stadiums and main goal is basically to get up to uh, Master Ball tier. Um, best I've managed is Great Ball tier, rank 9. I think I've got to rank 9. Um, so yeah, trying to basically learn learn the doubles format and just you know improve and then see how far we can get. Um, so now we can get on to the team. Um, so from last week we did a Groudon Venusaur team. Um, I've got it displayed there um, but I've also got the changes I've already made to it. So um, let's talk about the um, what it was before. So it was Groudon Venusaur you had Incineroar there which I've placed underneath the team. Um, one of the Pokemon I switched out. Uh, Regieleki, Tornadus and then Oranguru. So most most of the games I was focusing on using uh, Groudon um, a big problem I was finding was that Prespice Blades and Rock Slide was just missing way too many times. And then I think after, after looking up uh, some like example spreads for Groudon, I found I may not have been using optimum moves. Um, so I had a look at that. I uh, had a look at moves for Venusaur as well. Um, Oranguru was there as a way of sort of getting Groudon to do um, its either Rock Slide or Precipice Blades twice in a turn, but it, it never really came to fruition. So all that Oranguru was really good for was uh, shutting off uh, Trick Room. Um, I, this new uh, team that I put together doesn't really have any answer to um, a Trick Room setup besides maybe uh, Rillaboom with uh, Fake Out and then Tornadus with, uh, with Taunt. Um, so could be interesting. Um, so yeah, um, there's a few moves which I've like changed here and there. So um, what I'll do is I'll go through what the team is now and then see if I can remember what I had. So sorry, pardon me, getting a bit, <laughs> getting a bit gulpy. Um, right, so Venusaur um, still got Life Orb, uh, still Max Speed, Timid. Um, we've got Protect. Um, we did have Sleep Powder, Leaf Storm, and Sludge Bomb. We've changed it, so Grass Knot, because Grass Knot does damage based on how heavy your opponent is, and Kyogre is a pretty heavy boy, um, so Grass Knot is going to hit it really hard. Um, so that's why I've switched that out for instead of Leaf Storm, it's it's better damage, and also I don't get that um, that special attack drop drop from using it. Um, Sludge Bomb there, um, basically for poison coverage, and then also got. The uh, what's that there? Weather ball. So uh, when Groudon comes up, uh, sets up sunlight, um, you're going to have a uh, a fire type move, which could come in handy um, in some moments. And then also because it gets it gets affected by weather, so the typing of that could change, and shenanigans could happen. I don't know. Yeah, I got rid of sleep powder. I'm not sure about whether I want to keep sleep powder or not, but we're going without it for now. Groudon. The big change to this well, two changes. So we've got rid of Citrus Berry, so we haven't got that recovery option anymore. Uh, we've got Wide Lens, and that's main. That's I mean, that's only just to make sure Precipice Blades hits. So I can't I can't remember the um, like how much that improves the accuracy, but it's no longer going to be missing as much, which is good. Um, also got Heat Crash. So Heat Crash, another weight based move. Groudon is a heavy boy. Um, Heat Crash should. Uh, just like destroy um, Ice Rider Calyrex and should do fairly good damage against uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex as well. Uh, sword Stance um, because I reckon the opponent's going to try and intim intimidate me a lot. So Sword Stance just to either you know reverse that and then gain plus one attack, or just to do it whenever I think that the opponent's going to protect or switch out, which happens fairly often actually. Uh, then we got uh, Rillaboom instead of Incineroar. So the idea behind that was um, I think with with Incineroar in there there's quite a lot of ground weaknesses 
So um, basically change that for Rillaboom. Um, so then you've got a U-turn, Woodhammer, Grassy Glide, Fake Out. So we've now got Grassy Terrain we can set up. We've got Grassy Glides, which is priority move. So that's, that's always good. Uh, Woodhammer there as well. Uh, it's another answer to Kyogre, um, as well as having Reggie Alecki there. So, I mean, we, it feels like we've got a good matchup against a Kyogre-based team. That, that's always good. Uh, what else? So Reggie Alecki is pretty much exactly the same apart from having Focus Sash as its held item. So Reggie Alecki, not very defensive. I mean, it's got naff all defense, really. <laughs> so um, if it... If it takes um, a hit that's supposed to knock it out, it's going to last at least one extra attack, which should be good. Um, so that's that's there. So basically replace Magnet for uh, Focus Sash. So it's going to have slightly less damage output, but then maybe more more stability. <laughs> uh, Tornadus, um, instead of Focus Sash on that, we've now given it a Wacan Berry, because I reckon most of the time they're, um, the opponent's going to try an electric attack against uh, Tornadus to knock it out. Uh, so now it's going to halve the damage from that and hopefully live. Uh, also, uh, Tailwind, Taunt, Hurricane, Icy Wind, it's exactly the same as I had before. And then instead of Rangaroo, we've now got uh, Grimmsnarl. So Grimmsnarl, I saw, was actually a good answer to um, Shadow Rider Calyrex. Uh, Sucker Punch will one-hit KO it. Then uh, you've got uh, Spirit Break there, which should be good against uh, Shifu's, I guess. And then you also got the barriers there, like clay, so we're going to try and make our team a bit more defensive. Uh, yeah, so we've got Prankster, Prankster, Transistor, Grassy Surge, Drought, Chlorophyll, blah, 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 blah. That's the team. All right. Okay, yeah, so our last match was a victory, and we're going to go with Armadillos, because Groudon's kind of an Armadillo. We're against Jogreburg. All right, um... They've got a Xerneas team, Blaziken, Regieleki, Salamence, a Grimmsnarl of their own, and an Urshifu, a type unknown. Right, uh, fake out. They've got Grimmsnarl that could fake out, but it's going to be a slow one. So fake out could be a good, good like starting one. Uh, Grimmsnarl is also good. Well, Grimmsnarl would be a good answer to um, Salamence there. I don't think I've got much that can go against Salamence. Oh, anyway, I've got Tornadus Icy Wind. If I go Tornadus and Rillaboom, I've got Fake Out and a Tailwind option. I can also Taunt Xerneas if it comes out. Uh, we want... Yeah, we'd want the Groudon. Do we want Venusaur? Venusaur will get... Venusaur could be good. Do we want Grimmsnarl? Rillaboom can switch out to Grimmsnarl. Uh, Grimmsnarl's matchups here. Uh, I'm going to go with something a bit more confident with. I'm going to go with Venusaur. Let's do that. So, things I'm worried about on their team Xerneas, uh, Blaziken, because uh, speed boost. Uh, I think I've got some good options here. Going to be a firefighting, so it's going to be weak against Hurricane. Let's see what comes up. Right, so early now, Salamence Urshifu, okay, so maybe they're doing their own Tailwind. Yeah, who do I who do I prioritise here? That's a Rapid Strike Urshifu. I think. Right, I think I should taunt the Salamence. Because Salamence is a tailwind setter. And then I should fake out the Urshifu. Let's go for that. They haven't got anything that can uh, stop a fake out. So there we go, fake out on the Urshifu. Taunt on Salamence. Intricate move. Hey, and we stopped a Dragon Dance. Yes. I thought they were going to Tailwind, but it's Dragon Dance instead. Right. So that's. That 
gives us some good options. Uh, right, so now we could Tailwind. Give us a speed advantage. Uh, U-turn. Or do I Grassy Glide into Urshifu? Grassy Glide could hurt a lot, yeah. Grassy Glide into Urshifu, I reckon. Right, so the Urshifu's not moving. That's good. I mean, it's not switching out. There we go. Urshifu is out of the ring. <laughs> Your wing beat, okay, that's fine. As long as we'll survive it. Good stuff. Right, so it's going to go in with dual wing beat. Uh, what have we got in the back? We've got a Venusaur and we've got a Groudon. Alright, here we go. So Xerneas is coming out. Now, we've got. Um, see what could I do I could icy wind here that's gonna hurt salamence um, or do I want to uh, no, I, th I think it's better to taunt the um, taunt the Xerneas you turn out with the Rillaboom so we'll be wanting that one. Yeah, you turn into Salamence. Let's do that. Alright, so no Geomancy for you. Did a fair amount of damage, that one. Alright, so I want... Raul Doll. So I guess even if um, even if Tornadoes goes out, um, I've got Venusaur, which will enjoy the uh, the drought. Are we going for speed? No, oh, attack drops. Eek! Don't like that. Oh, doesn't gleam. Okay. Villain. <laughs> Let's do Icy Wind on both of them, and I could go Heat Crash into the Xerneas, that would, that would take it out. Yeah, I've got to be careful here. Um, yeah, get rid of Xerneas. Wow. <laughs> Critical hit. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's, it's a bulky Xerneas. Alright, so Groudon's gone, that's fine. And no, not Groudon, <laughs> Tornadus is gone. Alright, so who did they have that they switched out? I can't remember who they had that they switched out. Or did they switch someone out? No, they had Urshifu, they had Xerneas, one that they haven't shown me. I'm going to bring out Venusaur, because Venusaur should take care of um, you know who. Lazakin, okay. Right, we've got one more turn of Tailwind. Okay. If I can go. Yeah, I've got I've got the speed advantage. Respice Blades will be super effective. Let's go for it. Don't think Bazikend does fake out, but we'll find out. Come on then, what you got? Gone. G 
good. We're doing well. And it's a hit. Ooh, Focus Sash. Interesting. The sword starts with a speed boost. Don't think that's going to be enough for them. So we've still got Rillaboom. Yeah, they've got Lazakin Speed Boost. And that's their last one. Okay. Uh, we are golden. I feel. Go for it. And that's a comfortable win. I mean, besides that um, Salamence. Yeah, got, got lucky with the Salamence. What could I have done had Salamence lived? Hard to say because I don't know what move they would have gone with. They had Dragon Dance, they had Dual Wing Beat. Probably had Protect. Um, maybe they had Draco Meteor or, or, um, or Dragon Claw as the last, last move. I don't know. No wait, one of them had one of them had um, was it brutal swing? That was Salamence, wasn't it? So can we follow that up with another win and move ourselves? Oh, looks like we don't need that extra win. <laughs> We're on rank seven. Great ball, yes. <laughs> so here we go. Here's our next uh, opponent. Um, they've got Reggie Alecki, They got Venusaur. They got Evil Tool. What are they also, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Evil Tool sounds better. Um, Urshifu, Landorus, and then they've got Torkoal. Hmm. Alright, so I see. So Torkoal's there for Venusaur's um, to speed it up. And uh, da -da 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 -da. Hello. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't know what to go with here. No, I haven't got Diglett. <laughs> Sorry, my, my wife's talking to me off screen. <laughs> Alright. I think Rilla Boom is a solid choice to start off with. Um, Tornadus would be good to set up a tailwind. Um, don't feel like bringing Reggie Alecki here. Um, bring Groudon, because fire's good here. And then bring. Ooh, do I. Let's bring Grimmsnarl just to just to be be weird and wacky. <laughs> so we're not bringing our own Venusaur. We probably have to worry about a uh, a Venusaur on their team that's going to try and use Sleep Powder. Well, that card is all up in your face, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, Reggie, that game Venusaur. So are they going to try and swap in? Are they going to try and swap in a um, Groudon to get the uh, speed advantage, I wonder? If they do that, I could fake out Venusaur. If I fake out Venusaur... Yeah, I'm half expecting them to... Um, to do that. Fake out Venusaur. We want our Tailwind up just because it's imperative. Oh, that's good. Their Venusaur's quite weak. I mean, usually it's quite weak. We live. That's good. And it's going to be Groudon, I bet you. I bet you it's Groudon.
Torkoal, okay. Oh yeah, they don't have Groudon, do they? They. <laughs> Why am I being so stupid? Okie dokie. Right, so... Yeah, we haven't got anything really that can tackle that uh, Torkoal. Um, what could we do? We can still... No, wait. Because I need to make sure that Torkoal's not at full health. I reckon you turn into the Venusaur. And then maybe do Hurricane or something into Torkoal. Just to remove, just to lessen its damage output. I feel like that's the that's the that's the move. It's probably not going to hit as hard because Torkoal's quite quite bulky. All right, we're, well, All right, we get the we get that off. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we don't get our U-turn, but we have lessened their eruption. Takes out Tornadus, but that's fine, we've still got our Tailwind. Still got that ever so slight speed advantage. Right, so now um, I can bring in um, bring in Grimmsnarl here. Because I can do shenanigans now. That's uh, da 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 da. I would like to U-turn out. U-turn out with Venusaur, and then we go with... I think it's Light Screen on these. Yeah, Special Attacks. Light Screen. Let's just, you know, make it really hard for them to hit us. Switching the ground on. This is pretty good because okay, that heat wave. I'm hoping it doesn't do much. Good. Hey, okay, grassy train still up. So what I could do now is fake out the Venusaur. Yeah, do I fake out the? Yeah, fake out the Venusaur. Torkoal's going to be too slow. Um, so let's Precipice Blades, both of them. Um, go for Fake Out on Venusaur. And they still got all four Pokemon. <laughs> That's fine. Come on, hit hit Torkoal. There we go. Right, Torkoal gone. Right, grassy train is still up, I think. It may go. No, nope, grassy train's still up, that's good. Tailwind is gone. That's a problem. Evil Souls coming out. Alright, uh, what do I do now? I will have a think about what I probably could have done better on this, but for now let's just carry on with the match. Because I feel like we're going to lose this one just because we've lost our speed advantage.
Bah. Boo. <laughs> Get away, Venusaur. You should have. You should have been gone ages ago. Alright, so who was their last one? Reggie it. Ooh. This is interesting. <laughs> Can I preserve Groudon? That would be the big question. Is Heat Crash going to be enough to get rid of the Veltal? Let's find out. It had Foul Play on it. It's probably got like Snarl, Sucker Punch, Protect, perhaps? Oh, Reflect, okay. Let's try and mitigate the damage output. I'll play, okay. That's interesting. Nah. Nah, they've got it. <laughs> I can't I can't take out that um that evil tool, it's it's too strong. Especially with that barrier that's just gone up. So what could I have done differently on that one? So I brought brought Grimmsnarl, and Grimmsnarl in the end was only really good enough for um, setting up barriers. Um, Tornadus, we did get the uh, Tailwind to start off with, but they were in a strong position to um, from the get-go anyway, because they had, yeah, maybe what I could have done is I could have, yeah, I can't remember how that first move, how that first turn went, but I'll have to look at it, because possibly what I could have done is start off by setting, um, or firing off a uh, Icy Wind to lower, lower the speed of uh, Venusaur from the first turn. I could have faked out Venusaur, anticipate that they were bringing in um, bringing in Torkoal or like a Drought user to speed up Venusaur, and then coming with the icy wind from uh, from Tornadus. So I would have got this would have got a slight speed advantage. And um, how does that help me? Doesn't help me a lot, does it? Because Venusaur would still have the double speed. Interesting. Oh, well, below rank seven. It'll... All right, so we get. get... Um... Well, hey, we've got some points. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he didn't seem too happy about it either. <laughs> all right, uh, all right. Let's have a look at this one. Um, we've got oh Monday VGC. Um, they have got a Gastrodon. They've got an in um, hit on top. Forgot the name there. Reggie Alecki, Rillaboom, Grimmsnarl, and then Ho Ho. Ho Ho Ho. Um, right. I have found that a good lead for me sometimes has been Tornado Spinosaur. Because they either set up Tailwind or bring in, bring in uh, Groudon to set up Drought. I wonder if I go with that. So, Tornado Spin. Or do I go Rillaboom? Rillaboom would take care of uh, Gastrodon. Got switching the capability. Yeah, go for that. Uh, they're going to be setting up barriers with uh, Grimstar. That's going to be a problem. Go Groudon. Do I want Venusaur? Uh, nah, I want Regieleki, I think. No, I want, I want Venusaur. Let's go Venusaur. Uh, yeah, league is starting tomorrow. Jack is running at Excelsior from six to ten. Yeah, I don't. 
Yeah, I won't, won't be able to make it um, this Wednesday. Um, I will think about it. Um, I've got, you know, I've got, got a few more, uh, a few more things over here and um, across the uh, across the bridge. So I've now, now I've got a puppy I'm looking after, and then um, got a um, yeah, like other, other sort of like commitments. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to it's going to be a bit more effort for me to make it over, but I'll, I'll see if I can come round uh, one time. Okay, so we've got fake out potential, we've got one. Um, now, I can't remember if Rillaboom outspeeds him on top. I think he does. If he does, I could set up Tailwind. Set up Tailwind. Let's try fake out on him on top. There we go, we get the fake out. Get the tailwind. We're probably gonna lose lose Rillaboom here. Just because of that move. Oh we live. Lovely. <laughs> uh so oh yeah, I won't be playing TCG, it's so boring to me now, but when BGC events are back, I'm hoping that Dan will play as well, but not spoke to him in a little while. Yeah, it'd be good to um, do the uh, do the um, the VGC events again because those those were quite fun actually. I did like those. <laughs> yeah, the most I get nowadays is just the um, yeah, basic basically this. <laughs> but yeah, now if uh, now if hopefully seeing the end of COVID, hopefully um, we can then start going back to these events now. All right, so I'm going to try Hurricane Hit on top and. See if I can U turn. No, 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 no. Um, no, I'm gonna have to. Oh, withdrew him anyway. Gastrodon, okay. We brought Venusaur. So we can take care of Gastrodon. Hitmontop's gone. Who do I want to bring out? Um. Hmm. <laughs> bring out Venusaur. Yeah, we did the double mid-season showdowns in London. It was so much fun. Hopefully they come back soon. Yeah, what was the last last one I did? Um, probably Sheffield. And I think there was maybe like a Liverpool one after that, but it was just too far for me, but yeah, I would would like to go back to some of these uh, some of these events. <laughs> uh, we are going to see a. I can't prank to taunt it. Ah, damn it! They're going to set up barriers, which means Ho Ho is going to be invincible. Uh, just going to deal with it. So. So, 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 so. What do I want to do here? Hurricane is Grimsile. And then Grass Knot to Gastrodon. Now, if you want to go somewhere where we're going, just let me know. I'll take you else in the car, mate. No problem. I've, I've, I've got my own car. I can drive. <laughs> There's no no problem um, like traveling there. It's just getting the time to do it and then making sure all like other commitments are sorted out. <laughs> ah, I get ya. <laughs> Oops, slug bomb. Ouchie. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it was just it was just easy, easier in general to go to the uh, leagues, go, go to the events and stuff when I was uh, living in Bristol. But now I'm sort of living just north of uh, of Wales. I'm still still in England, but um, just uh, across the bridge and a couple couple miles up up north from that. 
Uh, takes it takes a good amount of time to get to uh, back into Bristol, and then yeah, I've just got yeah, got a dog to look after now. <laughs> so it's like most of the free time is gone already, and more of the free time is uh, to go soon as well. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's try. Yeah, we'll do hurricane there, and then quick do the move, do the move. There. Let's just take it. I withdrew him. Fine. Here comes Ho-Ho. <laughs> yeah, so what I was, what I was going to say... Um, yeah, so a puppy to look after, which takes up most of the time today. Um, it's, it's a border collie named Daisy. <laughs> um, and then I've got... In well, around, around December, I've got a... Um, Got my first kid due. <laughs> gonna be um, having me and, me and my um, me and my wife gonna be having our first child. <laughs> so I imagine a, a lot of stuff is gonna be changing in the like next few months for me. <laughs> uh, let's try sludge bomb. I just need something to take care of Ho Ho. I haven't got it. <laughs> this Ho Ho team just brick walls me. <laughs> oh yeah, they're getting ready for Mr. Mr. Groudon coming in with the uh, Precipice Blades. Uh, yeah, Misha just said you were expecting. Crowds mate, hope it all goes well. Yeah, thank, thanks for that, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's all, all been going so well. Um, all, all been going well so far. The um, yeah, so we've got yeah done all done all of the um, the scans. So it's just two sets of scans which have gone through, no problems found. And yeah, the, the due date is um, around the start of September. Uh, not September, de December. <laughs> it's not. It's not that. It's not that. Um, uh, that soon. Oh, I've still got a Rillaboom. Nice. Let's see if we can stall out their um, their barriers. I just want that Ho-Ho to die. <laughs> uh, what other Pokemon they've got? They've still got a Gastrodon. So I, I need I need something to take care of that. Um, and then... Yeah, let's see what they've got on the back. Let's try fake out here. Fake out, and then go for a sludge bomb into Ho. Maybe we can get a poison off. You never know. Grimstar's going fine. Ooh, protect! Damn you! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Still got the potential to um, do some stuff here. We can grassy glide into the Gastrodon. We can protect here to avoid a sacred fire on the Venusaur. Are they gonna need to protect with Gastrodon? No. Bye bye Gastrodon. <laughs> more turns they got with those barriers up. Still holding strong at the moment because we haven't brought out um, Groudon. Is this the moment where we bring out Groudon? Why do U turn into Grimmsnarl? It's effective. So we can we can bring it out. Let's try it. This could go horribly wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. Sludge bomb, ho ho. 
Fuck a punch. Eep. Poison, 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 poison. Damn it. <laughs> God damn! Uh, I really, I really need to like maybe rethink some of the um, some of the uh, Pokemon in this team. So I, ne I need to improve my matchup against Ho Ho because it's it's just hurting me hard. Right, if I bring in Rillaboom. Are they going to protect Ho Ho? I feel like they are. In which case, I could do Swords Dance and then Grassy Glide, in, glide into Grim Snarl. Yeah, I could still hit it with priority moves. I could even fake out if I wanted. But maybe Grassy, Grassy Glide gets it. Let's try it, let's see what happens. Grassy Glide, okay. Grimmsnarl's gone. But now it is just Ho-Ho. Ooh, interesting. Going, going into the Groudon, are you? God, if I had like knock off or something, that would have been really helpful. Or would it? <laughs> Alright, heat crash, let's try. Mm. Wood hammer, 120. Gotta go for the more the more um That's fair damage. But not enough. <laughs> why are you doing that? <laughs> why have you just why have you just thrown the match to me? <laughs> Is this person an idiot? I can't believe that. They they could have Why did they do Brave Bird? Honestly, these people. <laughs> Why did they just throw the match to me? <laughs> they could have just done like any other move. They they had it in the bag and they chose not to do it. Oh, oh, that was that was a brilliant climb up there on that point there. Thanks for joining. <laughs> okay, so we've got a trick room team here. All right, so da -da 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 -da. how do we stop a trick room team? Try and brick wall it as best we can. So it's it's going to be an DD Hatterene lead, I reckon, and then. Yeah, because they're they're not they're not going to go with a um, any other lead than that because I haven't got really got anything to answer it. We can go Tornadus. We can go. I think Grimmsnarl is probably a good thing here. Go for me. Uh, bring Rillaboom in the back. And I feel like Groudon is good here. That's that's probably a um, a rapid strike Urshifu, but then what I've found is that Surging Strikes doesn't do much damage against Groudon in uh, in half sunlight. That's why I'm not too worried about it. But I need to take my fast options out there. Just stay with like Prankster or um, 
for the slow ones. Yeah, I'm about to dust off the old switch and sink my life back into VGC. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I, for, yeah, for starting teams, I, I could recommend Groudon Venusaur or um, Tornadus Kyogre. So if you, if you use like a Tornadus Kyogre team from um, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, I think you can still use a team like that with only a few changes, and it would still still work pretty well. Okay, so we've got yeah, we're going to be seeing a trick room and stuff and stuff. So. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, we don't we don't want any sort of um, taunt's not worth it, so forget that. Bring in Groudon, and then set up a barrier, set up reflect. We're just going to try and stall out their trick room. Do follow me. Right, so Stack Attacker could have Wide Guard, which would be an interesting uh, move to have because it would stop Precipice Blades, but then I've got Heat Crash. Heat Crash would still do a fair amount of damage to um, Stack Attacker, but I could do Heat Crash on Indeedee instead. I think. Um, get light screen up as well. Just get get both screens up. We're looking for either a gyrable or a rock slide on them on that stack attacker. Gyrable, okay. Didn't hurt too much because Grimmsnarl's not that fast. Expanding force. Doesn't affect Grim Snow, fine. Doesn't hurt Growl on that much either. That's bam. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Now, knowing that they're gonna do with uh, go with Gyrable, I can go Parasipus Blades, I reckon. And then oop. Then bring in Bring in Rillaboom. Could be able to chunk it. Get rid of that psychic terrain. Right, we're gonna see a white guard. Nope. Okay. Good. Helping hand rock slide, okay. Right, fair amount of damage. Please don't flinch. Yes. Die, 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 die. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> and I've got wide lens on that crowd on to, um, you know, to try and try and mitigate the uh, the bad accuracy on that move. <laughs> oh, but that that felt good. So we've got rid of psychic terrain as well. So we can do fake out again. <laughs> you love to see the no flinch. Oh yes, you do. <laughs> All right, we've got barriers up still, so that's that's good as well. Um, the precipice blades again. Do I fake out the torkoal or the hatterene? I reckon the torkoal because eruption is bad. Probably going to see a protect from Torco anyway, but I don't mind. Mystic Fire may also hurt. All right, we we'll get the fake off, the fake out off. Good stuff. Dazzling Gleam, okay, fine. Go, 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 baby. 
uh, now that now that eruption will do next to no damage, which is brilliant. And we just got to worry about heat wave. Right, so I could use Christmas plays again, I guess, and let's use Grassy Glide on that Hatterene. Now, if I've read it right, this is a textbook. This is a textbook battle. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> I think we're ending on a high. Oh, look at that, we avoided the attack as well. Usually that happens to me. <laughs> couldn't have done any better there that was brilliant trick room no problem <laughs> yeah vgc rng i think eve yeah was it they, they just missed one heat wave so even eve, even without that miss um that was that was in the bag so yeah i, I couldn't have asked for any any better for that for that match that was brilliant Right, um, yeah, that was my last match for today, and yeah, we ended on a high. I think that may get me up to rank 8, it might not, but we'll see on the next next one. So next stream will be Thursday. Um, yeah, so let's let's get off some social links, shall we, before we go. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. The stream elements has just, uh, just prompted me before I even started, so yeah. If you do like the stream, follow the channel. I, I think everyone everyone that's in the chat has uh, followed already. So uh, thank you for that. Thank you for the new follows. Uh, thanks also for watching and for joining in the chat. It's been been very entertaining, very, very fun. And I've, I've definitely had a good time on those those last matches. So yeah, once once again, uh, thanks, thanks everyone for watching, joining in, uh, following the channel and all that stuff. Uh, I'll be off, um, but until the next time, uh, Take care, and then we'll uh, see you on the next one. Cool. Bye. <laughs>